Today is January 13th, Ukrainian New Year's Eve. I know, modern Ukrainians are celebrating on December 31st, but fortunately for you and me, we don't live in a town with modern Ukrainians. This is a traditional area. Like the priest said last week, time stops here. And we are surrounded by Ukrainian villages. And Ukraine itself is right across the river here. The county we live in, Matamoresh, in northern Romania, is home to the largest number of Romanian-born Ukrainians. Now, since the war, ethnic Ukrainian presence has increased here. Uh, they estimate around 100,000 additional Ukrainians have shown up. Actually, they say 600,000 Ukrainians have fled Ukraine into Romania since the war. Last year, 2023, Ukraine officially moved Christmas from January 7th to December 25th uh, in a continuing effort to distance themselves religiously and culturally from Russia. But traditionally, today, January 13th, marks the end of the Ukrainian Christmas festivities. And it's called Malanka. Malanka. Malanka is a traditional Ukrainian folk festival and it is celebrated on Ukrainian New Year's Eve, January 13th, and it commemorates the feast day of St. Melania, Melania the Younger, according to the Julian calendar. That's all the way down by the Danube. I'll put a link to a video I made there, how to visit the Danube Delta. This is the town's Ukrainian church behind me. Cluj, your people, Cluj. This is the Ukrainian high school in Saget. This is the Romanian national anthem. Uh, basically, they're saying F the Turks. F the Turks. And now the Ukrainian national anthem. Inima Ukrainian Lord Din Maramuresh. 
This is the 31st annual Malanga festival. It's again. A lot of speeches, a lot of speeches. Now it's the uh, Romanian ambassador to Ukraine. It's been over an hour of speaking so far. Now it's some councilman of Solidarity. Oh, the best, the best. Yeah, yeah. Oh. After an hour and a half of important speeches by important people, finally, the Christmas carolers. In minus five Celsius weather, 23 degree Fahrenheit weather. How dare they? How dare they? How dare they? I'm losing two fingers. Ah, that octagon star, that's the Ukrainian Christmas star. It goes on top of the Ukrainian Christmas tree and Ukrainian Christmas carolers carry it. <laughs> Taking a quick look inside the Ukrainian high school. Tara Shevchenko, Ukrainian writer and poet. And this street along the Ukrainian high school is the Ukrainian black market where you can get cheaper cigarettes. One of the important speech makers, uh, the, the assistant secretary of the second subdivision of the Ukrainians of uh, some village uh, used to work in Russia. And he said that during Christmas time, he would always hear Ukrainian Christmas carols in Russia because Russians don't know how to write their own Christmas carols. That's what he said. The more you know. And there you have it. Happy Ukrainian New Year. In honor of Ukrainian New Year's, uh, we have Ukrainian salad. Yeah. <laughs>